Today we're going to deal with the snakes and the spiders, which is nothing but the Euphidia and the Aranida. Okay. So first we'll start with the snakes, the Euphidia group. Okay. Snakes and doctrinal signature. In, in fact, the next presentation, which is spiders and doctrinal signature is very, very important. There are many, many things which are relevant as the doctrinal signature. So pay attention to this. So the snakes are extremely sensitive to heat. Hence, they live in deep burrows where it is cooler. They live deep underground where it is cooler. Okay. So the same way, the Ophidian patients are worse from warmth, hot drinks and sun and summer. Okay. So this is one of the doctrinal signature. Okay. The snake is more ferocious and poisonous when hungry. So the same way, the patients of the Ophidia group are aggravated when hungry and on an empty stomach and they are better after eating. So this is basically like an acardium or iodum. So iodum also has the same thing, irritable when on an empty stomach and they're better by eating. Okay. So the snakes are poisonous at the level of mind. So when we say the mind is poisonous, it means jealousy and suspicion. So these two mental traits, I mean, these two uh, elements are the main mental traits of the Ophidia group. Okay, so suspicion and jealousy are the characteristic features of the patient. Okay, so this it is said. I don't know whether this is true. It is said that the snake coils itself from the uh, from the left to the right. Okay, so same way if you look at the pathology or the prognosis of symptoms and disease in snakes. The Ophelia travel from left to right. Okay, so they usually start in the left and then go to the right. A prime example for this is lachesis, where the tonsillitis starts in the left tonsil and then goes to the right tonsil. Okay, and then comes back to the left again. So there are exceptions, except for crotalis and elapse, which are right-sided remedies predominantly. Okay. If you look at lachesis, if you look at naja, all are left-sided. If you look at Viper also, they are left-sided remedies. So immediately after a snake bite, blood is let out as a therapeutic measure so as to avoid the extent of damage. Okay, so after a snake bite, that's the usual thing. The blood is let out so as to avoid the extent of damage. Okay? So the patients of the Ophelia are generally better by bleeding and any other discharges. So you know this, that Usually, the, it, it's there in lachesis, especially, where the bleeding makes the person better. Okay, especially the, uh, what do you say, the uterine bleeding, the menses. So, the onset of menses reduces the pain in lachesis. Okay, so that way you can correlate. So, the snake is very sensitive to touch and vibrations. So, we know that the Ophidia are very hypersensitive. Not only extreme, they are hypersensitive to touch and vibrations and noises. Okay. So there's a spelling mistake here. It's touch and vibrations. Okay. The snake catcher always catches the snake by its neck, which renders the snake absolutely helpless, helpless, which is a sensitive area for the snake. So therefore, the problem signature is. The patient of the Ophelia group cannot bear tight clothing around the neck. Okay, it's not only the neck, it's every part of the body, but more predominantly in the neck and the stomach or the abdomen. Okay. The stool of the snake, the stools of the snakes are dark and offensive. So the discharges of Ophelia patient are dark and offensive. The snake always sticks its tongue out so as to maintain all faction senses. So, you know, the lachesis, I mean, sorry, not lachesis. The Ophelia patients usually have trembling tongue and they have the protruding tongue. The Ophelia patient has trembling of tongue and they also tend to stick their tongues out. Okay. So, let's deal with the Aranida or the Arachnida. Arachnida contains scorpions, spiders, etc., etc. If you want spiders specifically, this Aranida or Aranida. Okay. So, 
So first is the doctrine of signature. So spider has eight legs surrounding the whole body and is in constant of constant motion. Okay, eight legs surrounding the whole body and is in constant motion. So that's why the patients of the arachnida or aranida are always restless, just like snakes. They are also quite restless. Okay, so that is one of them. Next. The spider captures its prey in a very cunning and deceptively woven web. And if you notice, the spider never gets caught in its own web. So they're very smart and deceitful that way. So therefore, the patients are cunning and deceptive in their behavior. Okay. Cunning, sly, shrewd, deceptive, and foxy. Okay. I repeat, cunning, sly, shrewd, deceptive, and foxy. These are the five traits which, which can define a spider personality, okay? The action of the poison of the spider is very violent. Therefore, the complaints, especially the pains of the patient are also equally violent, okay? So this pain, which I mentioned, is more predominantly seen in uh, tendulocubensis. What is it? We'll see later. And it's also seen in Theridion, especially in the spine. Okay. The male spider is known to dance during the mating season to attract the females. Okay. So therefore the patient decides to dance, which releases complaints. Okay. Why they dance? There is an explanation I'll tell you later, but this is nothing but the restlessness of spiders. They always keep needs to be, or they always have to be in constant motion. So these are the doctrinal signatures. Okay. 